isolated here. Just want to know your uh, your how you felt about this. Was a brutal fight tonight. What was your take on it? I mean, the, the, the guys were just uh, relentless. Man, relentless, uh, brutal, uh, violent. I don't know what other adjectives you can come up with for this fight, but it, it, it was everything that it looked like in there. And uh, you got to tip your hat to these guys for their, for their willingness uh, to, to fight like that. Because uh, I don't care who you are, you're going to feel... When you fight like that and you have a fight like that, part of you, part of you is left in that ring. Um, you hear people say that a lot. That means that, you know, something was taken out of you. And they were willing to go to that rink and go to that, that place. And uh, you got to tip your hat to them. What about, uh, you know, for you, you're one of the top pound-for-pound -pound fighters in, uh, in the world. Uh, things, are, things are looking good for you, right? What do you have coming up? Well, right now i got a few more months of rehab, and um, but whatever it is, I want it to be a big fight. And I want it to be against a top opponent. I mean, that's, you know, ever since I had my first uh, title fight against Mikhail Kessler, we fought nothing but the best for the past two and a half, three years. And uh, we haven't had easy pickings. Nothing has been given to me. And it will be no different when I come back. Do you feel like really among the general public, I know people that are inside boxing know what an outstanding fighter you are. Do you think you get the respect from uh, the casual fans? Yeah, I think definitely the respect is there. But I think, you know, it takes time. You know, people see Manny and people see Floyd. and. Those guys, they, did, they didn't just get there overnight. Manny had fought on many other cards. I've been many, many to many of Floyd's fights in the 90s against Castillo, against uh, the Dominican kid in Fresno, where nobody was there. He had been a world champion for several years. So these things take time, but I think we're turning the corner now where, you know, it's not just boxing fans that know these mainstream fans. Finally, uh, baseball opening day coming up. Uh, you're, you've got to be an, a big uh, athletics fan, right? Yeah, man, it's, it's, it's complicated. You know, I grew up on the 49ers and the Giants and uh, moved to the East Bay and started to support the Raiders and the A's. And uh, I, I support the Bay Area. Okay, well, then you got yourself covered. I got, I got two teams. Not the Raider fans don't want to hear that, though. Not only are you a champion, but you're a politician, too. You're like an ambassador, right? <laughs> hey, I try to be. Well, I try to be. well, we appreciate it. Uh, much continued success to you. Oh, you. Uh, you know, everybody in the, that knows anything in boxing knows that you're, you're pound for pound thank one you. of the best. And uh, we appreciate thank it. Thank you. I appreciate the love. Thank you. Thank you.